You're a veteran MMA fighter. And what are your thoughts on the quality of amateur MMA competitors and the development uh, and potential of amateur MMA international? What are your thoughts? on that? Uh, well, I'll, I'll speak on this. Um, and I'd like to hear Jonathan's, you know, uh, uh, outlook on this as well. But, you know, I think that the international amateur scene is so much more developed than what we have state. And this was a, the Pan Am is a huge eye opener. Now, we were able to go in and implement our game plan and, and the, these kids did an amazing showing, but to see what these other countries are doing and the access to this type of competition on an ongoing basis, what that does to your skill set and your mindset moving forward is something that we, we really need to pick up. And I think is only going to make the American amateur scene explode and that's going to make our professional athletes even become better than they are i mean we're very dominant because of our wrestling but once you add in this type of of experience there there's nothing like it i mean fighting three times in one week for these guys to deal with the obstacles and you're fighting national champions day after day to be able to do that and have that under your under your wing and then you go pro there's there's nobody that you can look at and be like you're going to bring anything new to the table Jonathan, what are your thoughts on that? What do you think about that? Could you repeat, repeat the question, please? Sure. Was- in, in terms of the, the scope of the international uh, amateur MMA at the international level, you know, you've competed there. And, and as your coach just mentioned, you're, you're facing off against folks who are national champions from countries that have a, a more developed system, right? And, yes. and w- w- what are your thoughts having, you know, competed there now and, and having dipped your toe in, in, into that highly competitive water. What, what, what's your opinion of international amateur mixed martial arts? To be honest, it's, uh, it's different. That's what I can say. I can really say it's different. And it's, it's a valuable lesson because I was, I'm used to fighting in my territory around California and my friends and my family around. So it prepared me to be like in a different, a different world, different country. And I was, it was a lot of pressure and I felt more nerves to like, and I had to overcome some adversity in the fight because of it. But I think it's very essential to like putting your career towards the pro levels because it's when you, when you, oh, you travel, you travel out of the state, sometimes out of the country to fight different people, people you don't even know about, you know, some people, you, their, their fights on, on YouTube or on the internet. So it's just a different level of competition. And it's a, uh, it's a route. If they, if fighters are taking it seriously, fighting seriously, they should take this, take this route as amateur. Very interesting. What sort of feedback did you get from f- f- friends and family when you showed them the gold medal? What did they say? I'm not. I didn't show anybody the gold medal. To be honest. Oh, what? You haven't showed anyone the gold medal? <laughs> no, wow. I took it to them, put it in our, uh, in our, our uh, medal cabinet, and then that was it. I really don't like to, to hang around my championships too long. Then wanted to mess with my, yeah, but but you, you did tell friends and family obviously that that you yeah, won gold. Yeah. Okay, I got to talk to my uh, family about it. You know, my dad and my grandmother were very happy. So I'm just you know want to make them proud and be the be the guy that they raised to be. That's my main goal. You know, and all the all the belts, the championships. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I'm always going to be my grandmother's, my uh, my father's child. That's it. That's all I can say. And Chad's student. That's how I look at it. 